Hi guys, it's me, Gwenny, back with another haul video. So this is just like a mini haul video of um, two shops. Um, one of them is an online shop, which is the Coffee Monsters Co., which if you've watched my videos before, is one of my all-time favorite shops. And the other one is from Little Craft Place, which is a physical shop, a uh, stationery shop here in Houston, and also one of my favorite places to go to. So anyways, um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gwenny, also known as K-Anything Fangirl, and I am a sticker addict, washi tape addict, stationery addict, K-pop algebra fan, Asian drama fan, a bookworm, a gamer of sorts, a collector, actually more of a hoarder, and welcome to my channel. So as I've said in the intro, this is from uh, two shops, Coffee Monsters Co. and Little Craft Place, and um, it's just some items I actually went to Little Craft Place because of the Coffee Monsters Co. And you'll see why um, when I show you what I got in this haul. But anyways, instead of listening to me ramble on, I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so the first thing that I have is my last uh, pre-sale order from the Coffee Monsters Co. So this is like... She had a pre-sale in June where she released her stamps, her new pouches, and washi tape. So, um, I did, like, two orders. Um, one order for washi and then the other orders for the other items. Just because from previous pre-sales, um, sort of, like, some items get delayed. So, like, if I had ordered this all at the same time, then I would have just gotten, like, all of them just now. But I wanted to get, like, anything um, as soon as I can. So I decided to kind of, like, split my orders for the pre-sale. So this is my last order from June. Uh, like I said, from the pre-sale. So it's not that much. Just because when this was happening, I didn't really have much budget for it. So, I, but I had to get, like, at least one of everything. Um... So the this is the freebie that I got. Uh, so this is June 2022. I really love this cute little uh, laptop um, emoji right there. Kind of reminds me of watching K-pop. I think I've said it before when I had my washi pre-order when I talked about this freebie. And the sluggish is really cute. And then this grocery guy. Really, really cute. And then, um, June is Pride Month, so I had to get another, um, Pride sampler. I think I got two from the last order. I only got one from this order. But anyways, I had to get this one because if you haven't watched my videos before, um, I am a sucker for anything rainbow. Put rainbow on it, I'm probably gonna buy it. And this one is like pastel rainbow colors and I love it. And it's on holographic foil. So double, double love. Is that even a word? But anyways, I think this is really, really cute. I can't wait to put this on my planner. Probably for next year. I'm not sure. Um, because I think I got extra ones to hoard. And then this is the journaling card that I got. It sort of got bent, but that's okay. Because I think I have another one of these. But this is the mermaid emoji one, mermaid one. I really love this scene. I think I used to, I kind of made a copy of this and put it on my um, my bullet journal as my cover page for my month. And I don't know, I just kind of like, I feel um, sort of like, I don't want to put glue on the back of any of my journaling cards to use as my bullet journal covers. So I just sort of like make copies of them. I hope that's okay, Helen. It's kind of like personal use. I'm not giving it away to anybody. But I just want to keep the original journaling cards in pristine condition or untouched condition in my um, bullet, uh, in my album for all my journaling cards rather than, um, whatchamacallit, gluing it and cutting it up and all that stuff. So this is the back of my journaling card. I spoke way too long about that. 
Um, it just says, thank you for supporting my small business. I hope you have fun with your new stationery and supplies. And I cannot wait to hear what you think. XOXO Helen. And there's always a pun at the back of the journal and cards that support the mermaids watch movies at the dive-ins. That's funny. And this is a bean card. So a quick, um, explanation on bean cards. Um, if you buy any stickers from Helen, like any of the sticker sheets, it usually has like a coffee bean at the very top. So you take the coffee bean, you put it in these um, areas right here, you collect 21, and then once you have 21, um, you put the date of when you completed it, and then the next time you order, you tell them that you're going to be redeeming a bean card, or th two, three, or four, however, however many you know, want to redeem. And then you take a picture of it, uh, of the bean cards, and then email it to the Coffee Monsters Coast email with your order number. And then they'll include some bean samplers um, for your order. So let me see if I have them. So the bean samplers are kind of like they look like this right here and uh, Helen normally does like uh, four uh, different um, swatches of it or four colorways is what she calls it so, for example, this one has, like, the spring colorway, autumn colorway, summer colorway, and then the winter colorway. So, it's just, like, diff many differences between each of them. Like, this one looks like she's in spring mode. This one is in winter mode with a beanie. This one is fall with a pumpkin. This one has coconut juice or whatever cocktail that is. And, um, if you're a collector like me, then, um... I would wait until you have like four bean cards collected before you redeem so you j you can get all of the colorways. Um, cause if you're just redeeming one or two, there's a big chance that the one that you wanted is not going to be part of the two that you're going to get. So I just kind of like redeem four at each time. Although I think I'm going to try and see if I can redeem like eight the next time just so I'll have like one set to hoard and one set to collect one set to use so anyways those are the quick crash course on bean cards um you can watch my other videos on the coffee monsters go if you want to hear me talk about them some more so those are the freebies well actually one of them this one is not a freebie that's one i bought so the the two <laughs> okay so the things that I got, so this one is um, the Emoti Pouch. So this is the newest Emoti Pouch that Helen has released. So it's kind of like a purple color and it's got like all the emojis, some in onesie, some without. Really, really cute. This is actually, I think this is the size that you wanted. For the first emoji pouch but the first emoji pouch was made a little bit smaller um so i think she kind of like sold that on discount when she had it but this is the original size that she wanted it for so let me get my original pouch and i'll show you the difference in sizes so hang on one second okay so this is the pouch that i got this time and this is the original pouch um, that first came out. So you can sort of see it's a little bit smaller. So I believe um, I've seen some posts of other people on the Facebook group um, that this one will hold the Hobonichi Cousin. Not the Avec, but I think the original one when it's still brand new, but it's probably gonna, um, sort of like, um, expand or something like that. So this one, um, I put my Hobonichi Weeks in it just because my Hobonichi Weeks is really, really getting chunky. 
So, um, inside this pouch, there's usually, like, pen loops, which I never use. It's got a nice lining on it. But this is, like, my Hobonichi Weeks. You can see it's sort of, like, chunky with all my other shenanigans in the back with all my other kits and all that stuff. But this is my Hobonichi Weeks, and I just keep it in, um, this pouch just because it's sort of, like gets um slammed around in my bag so this planner i take with me at work um because this is like my on the go planner this is where i base all of my other planners on because um i do not i try not to carry my other planners with me to work just because it's going to be too heavy um but this is sort of like my on the go because it's really nice and slim and compact and convenient so anyways, spoke too much about that one. Um, but this is the pouch. So like I said, it's kind of like pastel-y purple. The original one is gray. And um, I'll show you what's inside. So it's got zippers and it's got like a bunch of pen loops in here. So you can probably put your favorite pens and accessories in here if you want along with your planner. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. Uh, we'll see. I still haven't decided if I'm going to get like a Hobonichi cousin for uh, next year or not or go back to my bullet journal. I do love my bullet journal though because I kind of like can do different themes and colors and all that stuff. But anyway, so this is the pouch and then <laughs> totally forgot that I got two of the pen cases. So this is the latest uh, of the pen cases and it's kind of like a gray pen case. So it's got like zippers and you can put like a lot of stuff in these guys. I used to put all of my Tombos in the original pink one but I recently moved that into the, the other pen case that she released for the birthday sale. But anyways, um, I guess I got two of the pen cases. So one of them is going to be going for my um, giveaway for this year, maybe. Um, so I have an extra one. And this is the pen case. So like, I have all of them, I think. So let me show you. So this is the original... Uh, the very first um, Emoti pen case. This one just has all of my pins and accessories that I use at work. Um, this one stays at home. These have my mild liners. So this is the pink. This is the mint. Or is it like blue? I think it's like mint blue or whatever. So it's got like uh, my mild liners, mild brush pens, and all that stuff. The other two I haven't really used yet. So I got the purple one and the yellow one that I haven't used yet. I have a ton of pens that I have. But um, I haven't figured out like where I'm, what I'm going to use them for. So I just have them on hand. So now I got like three extra ones that I can use for later. And then the last thing on this haul is the stamps. So normally I got, I would get like extra ones of the first four emoji stamps um, so that I can have it for a giveaway for this year but the problem with that is like I said I didn't really have that much of a budget for this pre-sale although no I, I had a budget I used it all in the wash tapes if you want to watch that video I can I guess try and put a link uh in the description box below so you can go check out all the washi tapes that I got but I only got like one of the emoji stamps volume five this time um and I really, really cannot wait to use this one because I am a sucker for Helen's um, handwriting and stuff like that. And I really wanted to use these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, stamps. And then um, 
this one right here is really really cute the tv one the book one really really cute so i cannot wait to try this out um i'll have to pull my stamp uh stamp pad somewhere hopefully it still works and i will stamp this at the well maybe i'll do it like after the end of this clip just so you can see what the stamps look like so that is it for this mini haul for the copy monster skull so the next one you'll see is me stamping out these um what do you call this D using these stamps um to try and um actually somebody told me that i can use tombos for the stamps so maybe i'll try and do that so i will see you in the next clip with me trying out these stamps so i'll see you in the next clip okay so as promised here are my stamps uh stamped out okay first i'll show you on my official stamp book because i decided i'm going to use this for all the stamps that i receive in future uses so i can see what they look like when i use ink on them so this is emoji stamp volume 5 so this one right here this line right here i tried using tombos on the stamps and it sort of worked but it's like really really light you have to put it on there really quick and then you also have to stamp it really quick for some reason it kind of like just disappears um, so, um, this is the, when I tried colored, um, Tombos, so you can barely sort of see parts of it. I don't know. This one is a darker color, so it kind of looks better, but the rest of them are sort of like, you can barely see them. Maybe I'm just not used to stamps, it, but like I cannot resist when Helen comes out with stamps, so I just get it anyways. And then this one is the black Tombos. Um, they worked a little bit better, but the it I don't know. Maybe it's just me when I'm stamping. So this is the Tombow that I used for this one, and maybe it, I wasn't I wasn't coloring it more or what. But this is what they look like. And then these are all like tombos and i accidentally sort of like inverted this guy but that's what the pencil one looks like so these are like using tombow markers um if you want to see what the other emoji stamps uh volume one to four let me show you so this one is volume one right here really really cute this is volume two. So these ones I use a uh, regular stamp pad. This is the Versafine uh, pigment ink onyx black. So this is what they look like if you use a stamp pad. Um, so that's volume one and two. And then this one is three. And this one is volume four from last year. They have a lot more kind of like smaller stamps that were sort of hard to use and all that stuff but i really like these ones right here and then like i said volume five five is these ones which is i think my favorite out of all the stamps she's released just because of the days of the week because i can think of a lot of ways to use this one so this is what they look like on my stamp book so this is just kind of like a plain paper um tombos do not bleed through the VersaFine ink bleeds through with regular paper. So I decided to try it out on um, using VersaFine in this sticker paper. Um, I did not really like how this turned out. Probably because I was stressing out. I was messing up and all that stuff. Um, there are a few that are really good. Like this one, this one. This one is really good. Uh, these ones you can just sort of like touch up with, um, what do you call this? Markers and stuff like that. So this was my practice run. And then I decided to try it out on another sticker paper that I have. Because what I'm planning with these ones is, um, cutting them out, using them as stickers instead of, um, stamping exactly on the paper because I don't want it to kind of like leak through or bleed through the next page 
and all that and I don't trust myself so I was thinking of turning them into stickers and this one it's a little bit of a wider paper than this and it looks better and then these ones are uh, when I tried to color it so the the outline is uh, I used the VersaFine ink and they came out really well and then I just used my Tombos to color uh, parts of the stamp. I thought it, this would make it really really cute. So I got the book, the laptop, the pencil, the TV. Do not at me. I cannot color the, in, uh, in the lines, okay? I always accidentally, almost always, color outside the lines. And then this one is like my favorite, the days of the week. Like I said, I love anything rainbow. So I tried to do that one. And I really, really like this one. So I'm probably gonna do color the rest of these with my Tombow so I can use these on my planner. And those are the stamps, what they look like uh, when you use a stamp pad versus uh, Tombows. So the next clip you're gonna see is what I got from Little Craft Place. So I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so the next thing that I have is something I got from Little Craft Place. And no, this is not the Coffee Monsters Co. Haul again. I got this one from the Little Craft Place. Um, by the way, I d forgot. I don't know if I told you, but uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. is a shop owned by Helen and she's based in Canada. This one, Little Craft Place, is a shop here in Houston, Texas, and it's owned by Eunice and Ian. So this is their new calling card right now. I kind of miss the, what do you call this? Oh my God, I got ink all over my fingers. I kind of miss the, the washi wall calling card, but this is um, their new calling card. So I got a new one and this is, like I said, the owner, the address if you want to pause it. Um, so, um, she started carrying the Coffee Monsters Co. stuff on her shop, but um, she hasn't really, like, whenever she carries it, it runs out right away. So, when I went there and I saw that they had um, the pouches on sale, I had to run there and get it. I, I did the same thing with the washi tape. Um, but, like, this... Actually, I bought actually all of these before my order came in from the Coffee Monster Sco. So, I totally forgot that I bought two of the pin cases. So, do you see this one? Accidentally, I accidentally bought a third one. Accidentally, purposely. Um, not sure yet, but now I have three of the pin cases. And I also got a second one of the pouch. So I'm not sure um, which one of, like what planner I'm gonna use for next year. If I'm gonna have a Hobonichi, if I'm gonna have a bullet journal. So I just got like a second pouch just in case. So this pencil case, I don't think I would need all three. So one of them is going to be a giveaway um, for the Coffee Monsters Co., which I have done for the past ooh, two years, I think. So I got those. When I saw it on the website, I, I was like, oh my god, I gotta go. And actually, when I got this one, they haven't even put it up on the store yet. I asked, I kind of like know the owners already. So when I ask, do you have it? And he, um, Ian got it for me. Eunice wasn't in the store that, that day. So Ian got it for me. So, I got extra ones, which, like I said, I can't wait to use. And then I got some stickers. Um, let me see. So, these ones, I already have these ones um, the f last time I went there, but I was using it for my bullet journal and I sort of run out, so I had to get more. Um, let me show you what I did. So I used this for these ones. So this is, I am behind on my bullet journal. Um, 
I I am caught up on my what should we call it on my Hubble weeks, but I am behind in my bullet journal and my wanton in a million planner. Um, that's why I'm thinking like for next year. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have like um, I don't know if I'm gonna have like a bullet journal plus. Uh, um, I think it's called a seven by nine planner, like one of those Aaron Condren's or one ton in a million or Rick, Rick collections planner or a Hobonichi weeks and a bullet journal. I'm still kind of like debating on, um, not a Hobonichi weeks, a Hobonichi cousin. I'm still debating on whether I want that or not, but I can give you like a quick flip through of this one. I'm not sure. I don't think I've put any. Um, this is like my cover page, my dates, and then I've sort of like started putting in, um, some of the, this is like a, what I did with the, what do you call this, Coffee Monsters Co, um, Hobonichi Cousin Kit. I should have gotten the other one so it'll be like bigger, but oh well. So um, this is what I've been doing. If you want to see a flip through of this one at the end of the year, then maybe um, we can do that. I did some pages. So that is my bullet journal, my second bullet journal for the year. Um, so that's why I got this one because I needed at least three more out of this. And also I told my friend um, Ayumu that I'm going to send her some of these stickers. So Ayumu, I'll send you some of the ones that I don't use. And then I got some sticker sheets. If you have been watching my videos before, I will let you know right now. Aside from liking kitties, I love penguins. We have a bunch of plushy penguins. You can see them. Some of them I've... Uh, posted hauls on my channel um but um this one is i saw it i was like oh my god this is the cutest thing and i am thinking of using this for my december uh for december in my bullet journal so i might have to go back and get one more sh sticker sheet so that i can hoard one and the other one i can use and then I had to get this one because this I thought this is the cutest thing ever. This is a kitty, a bunch of kitties, and they have different stuff. And I saw the one with the penguin, and I was like, oh, that is the cutest thing ever. I need to have that one. So I got it. I got the cat with a penguin on it. I thought this is really, really cute. So this one is from Sticky. This one is from Japanese sticker shop that I don't understand. Um, this one is from another Japanese sticker shop that I don't understand. And then, um, I have Once More Would Love, a sticker sheet. Um, so she, so like, Little Craft Place has started carrying like a bunch of kind of like small business owner shops. So she has Once More Would Love, Simply Gilded, One Ton in a Million, The Coffee Monsters Co., Every time I go there, there's always like a new shop. I think there, there was another one in my other haul that was, um, she has some little things. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Paperica, I think. Paperica shop. So there was like a bunch of like, there's always like a new shop, um, that you will discover when you go there. So I got this one just because, you know me, I am a stationary addict. I have to have more sta stickers about stationary. So I got stationary love sticker sheet. I thought this is really, really cute. And then this is the other one that, that is a brand new um, sticker shop that I discovered there. So this one is Sticky Muck Sticker Face. Um, I just thought I'd get these date dots because this is... This looks really, really cool. I love anything colorful. You know me by now. So I had to get this one. And then these ones are tabs. Um, I don't know if you can see. And I thought I can use it if ever I'm going to have a bullet journal for next year. Um, so I thought I'd get it. 
I just thought this is really, really cute. So, actually, I think I might use part of it on my bullet journal for this year, and then um, we'll see if I'm going to have a bullet journal for next year. And then uh, I got, I also got this one because I thought this was really cute. Uh, different color days of the week. Kind of wish it was rainbow, but oh well. Um, I just like that there's different colors. So I got this one. And then uh, the last thing I got, it's currently October when I'm filming this. So I thought this would be great for my date covers in my bullet journal for October. I have to start the October one because this one that I showed you right here, it lasted me until September. Um, I think I have enough spaces until September, but I cannot fit the rest of the year in this one. So I have to start the last one, um, which is going to be 2000 and the last three months of 2022. And I'm thinking maybe, hopefully, I can um, sort of like get up to date with these ones and then I can do a flip through of this one in my Hobonichi weeks um, by the end of the year so that you can see or the first of the year next year so um, that's that that's what I'm getting what I got this for and then the last thing that I have is this um, deco sticker from BGM it says fantasy trip so the first thing that caught my eye is this cute little um, thing right here it says the vast clear sky there's a whale and then dreamy milky way so these are individual sticker sheets so these are the ones I'm not gonna take them out just because um, what do you call this it's held to put them back in but these are the different designs this was $4.99 um, I just thought it was really cute. I love anything that's uh, sky themed, ocean themed. This is kind of like the best of both worlds. And that is it. So according to this one, it has three designs, three pieces, three by three. So I'm guessing it says 40, 15, 15 designs, 45 pieces. So I think it's like three per per design so you can sort of like see what they're gonna be and that is it that is my haul from the coffee monsters co in little craft place ignore my inky hands because now that i've done all that stamping um anyways um if you're at this part of the video uh, what is the favorite thing that you have seen? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!